Thank you, Swan, for the introduction, and hello to everyone. My name is Philippe Robert. I'm business development manager and senior expert at CLAT in the MEMS sensors and actuator field. My presentation will give an update on the recent advance on our multi-sensor nano-gauge platform called MNMs. But first, a short introduction on the MEMS. MEMS stands for Micro Electromechanical Systems. That is to say, microsensors and actuators with moving parts in the micron to millimeter range that use fabrication technology derived from microelectronics. It can be accelerometer, gyroscope, pressure sensor, magnetometer, humidity and gas sensor, biosensors, and many other components and functions. Thanks to high performances, ultra miniaturization, low cost, low power consumptions, MEMS are everywhere in automotive market, the industry, the consumer, the medical, the aerospace and defense. It can bring major benefits in all domains where one needs to retrieve information or to act very locally, in particular for smart home and smart city, smart agriculture, smart energy grid, transport, healthcare and industry. Now, if we look at the market trend for MEM sensors, it seems that emerge three main markets that concern the smart automobile, the next generation of mobile devices, and the new technology for manufacturing. All these emerging markets have the same sensor drivers. The cost, improved performances compared to the existing sensors, increased miniaturization, and the ability to provide combo sensors. Therefore, we now need new MEMS technology and design to meet these challenges. For this, Leti has a long history of innovation in the MEMS technology. Its most notable invention is definitively the capacitive drive accelerometer, whose very first patent was granted in 1984, a concept now used by all the initial sensor manufacturers. And today, we offer a new breakthrough innovation for MEMS, a concept based on a suspended MEMS gauge, coupled with a MEMS mechanical element for multi-sensor platform. This innovative concept uses a ultra-sensitive MEMS gauge detection, which benefits from a high stress concentration due to the very small size of the gauge, coupled with a thick MEMS structure to define the mechanical and inertial part of the sensors. The main advantage of such a technology solution are that we benefit from two layers. That means we can have a separate optimization between the mechanical part and the detection part. And we can detect any displacement on the three axis. We also benefit from the ultra sensitive and low impedance NAND gauge, which allow both to obtain high performance and miniaturization sensor with design not sensitive to parasitic capacitance. As an example, here is a schematic view of an accelerometer with an inertial mass, two beams to form an axis of rotation, and two suspended nano gauge, each connected to the inertial mass on the first end and to the anchor on the second end. Now, if an acceleration in the plane, it includes a rotation of the mass around the hinge. This rotation will exert a differential stress on the two nano gauge. In this case, the acceleration measurement will be done by measuring the resistance variation of the two nano gauges using a Western bridge. It is clear from this schematic that we have a strong stress amplification of the gauge and, that, and therefore a high sensitivity do both the lever harm effect between the application force on the inertial mass, the axis of rotation, and the point of application of the stress on the nano gauge. And we benefit also of the stress concentration coming from the very small section of the gauge. Using this technology, we have already demonstrated the fabrication of three axis accelerometer, three axis gyroscope pressure sensor, and magnetometer. And all these sensors using exactly the same technology. That means that what can easily have combo sensor mixing 
all these components. We have also addressed custom design with Trixis resonance accelerometer, where we can reach very high resolution of 10 micro G, in particular for navigation grade application. Also a three axis accelerometer with a very wide range of acceleration, reaching up to 500,000 G for shock detection and an in-plane microphone developed for the photoacoustic gas sensor. And more recently, we have demonstrated a 100 MHz time reference resonator where nano gauges detection is particularly interesting. Now some experimental results. Here an accelerometer with a range of 20 G for automotive application. Very interesting characteristics are obtained with a dynamic of 91 dB a noise floor density of 20 micro G per square root of Hertz, and a bias residual of less than 5 milli G over the temperature range. It means between minus 40 to 125 degrees C. Here is a barometric pressure sensor. This tiny sensor of only 0.5 millimeter square offer an excellent resolution of 0.3 Pascal with a, non, with a non linearity of less than 0.02% of the full scale. This sensor also integrates a self-test electrode, which allow to control the working state of the sensor before its use. Here is a demonstration of this barometric pressure sensor where we clearly demonstrate that the 0.3 Pascal resolution is able to provide the measurement of an altitude variation as low as one centimeter. Now the gyroscope, a device we have developed with the Politecnico di Milano. On this slide, you can see the first measurement of a four millimeter square triaxid gyroscope with very interesting characteristic. A bias instability of 1.2 degree per hour, an angular random work of 0.11 degree per square root of hour. We compare this result to, with commercial, automobile and industry grade sensor from TD Catronics and Mirata. If in terms of performances we are quite close, we stand out in particular in terms of the size of the MEMS we are three times smaller than Murata and even than 20 times smaller than Tronix gyroscope. Also, we are the only one who propose the co-integration of the three axes on the same dial. And we have a gyroscope with the highest resonance frequency. This last, last parameter is critical, especially in a harsh environment, such, such as in automobile and industry where the vibration environment can lead to gyroscope output error. We know that in a car, this vibration spectrum can exceed 30 to 40 kilohertz. It is very, therefore appropriate to be able to propose a gyroscope with the highest resonance frequency, and if possible, beyond this spe spectrum. But high frequency gyroscope lead to stiffer MEMS design and then reduce displacement of the sense mass. On conventional capacitive gyroscope, where the sensitivity is directly linked with the displacement of the sense mass, this increase of the stiffness leads to a decrease in the sensor sensitivity and to technological constraint to reduce the capacitive air gaps. In the case of the detection of Coriolis force by nano gauges, like we do with MNMs, this sensitivity is no more related to the displacement of the sense mass, but to the stress generated. Then the same level of sensitivity can therefore be maintained without technology constraint. Compared to the previous measurement presented, we have optimized the gyroscope design by moving the operation drive to 45 kilohertz, but also pushing pull, adding a pushing pull drive actuation and by adding quarter shock compensation electrodes. This brings us 
to this 1.5 mm, mm square high frequency MEMS gyroscope. The experimental results obtained are excellent, with a bias instability observed on the Halland deviation graph of only 0.55 degree per hour and an angular random walk of 0.08 degree per square root of hour. We can also observe on the left graph the very linear output of the sensor for a rotation rate of 3,000 degrees per second, where the nonlinearity is less than 0.04% of the full scale. So, compared to the state of the art, we clearly obtained the best performance for a 45 kilohertz gyroscope with such a small footprint and even better than most of the frequency gyro of the market, low frequency gyro of the market. To summarize, we have demonstrated the high versatility of the eminence platform with accelerometer, gyroscope, and pressure sensor, the very high sensitivity brought to the NEMS gauge, higher than the state of the heart, and all this bringing great differentiation compared to the conventional MEMS technology. So thank you for your attention. Thank you, Philippe.